Hey there, welcome to my channel. If you guys are following along, I have this Google Sheet that I've built to help generate blog posts in bulk using Zimwriter. Now, the next step a lot of people are looking for is how do you start interlinking those posts together? How do we do that automatically? So I have this tool right here I'm gonna walk through with you guys real quick. Uh, just a heads up, this is gonna require Link Whisper. I keep running into issues on automating it with restrictions by Google. So this is, I found the best way to do it. Seems to be pretty affordable. Uh, but if you guys do like that, please use the Link Whisper URL in the description below. That just helps me earn a commission by referring you guys to them. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So the first thing that you need is this Google Sheet. I'll put a link in the description below on where you can go to get this sheet. But you'll download it and it'll look something like this. And make sure you're on this version 0.3 in order to do that. But in previous videos, we have articles generated in here, which you can still have, but for the purpose of this, I'm gonna assume that you don't have that, right? You're gonna have, there's no articles generated. We're just gonna go interlinking posts. We need to make sure we have the important basics tab set up with uh, open API key and access to our uh, WordPress site. Again, I'll have links in the description below in order to help you get to there, but we're gonna assume that's that you don't have that. You're gonna to go to art, or that you already have that set up. You're gonna to go to articles, go to set up post for interlinking. The first step you're gonna do is get publish post. So as you guys go through the post, it's going to load them one by one with the title, post ID, URL, etc. And so whenever that gets done, our next step is gonna be the generate interlinking words. What this is gonna do is it's gonna generate five words for each of these titles, uh, each separated by a comma. If you wanna go through and add your own words, you can. You can add one, you can add as many as you want, and it's gonna add those to a CSV that we're gonna generate here in a second. But I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and run this. I'm gonna pause, and we're gonna come back when it's all said and done. Okay, so we're back. What it's done, it has the title. It also probed the excerpt or description from the website post. And we also have the post ID and the interlink to that post. What it's gonna do is we're going to create a list, the CSV of keywords along with that post URL. And it's gonna create that into a CSV. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up an interlinking. If you wanna narrow down the keywords, you can. If you don't want too many, I just like them because it's hit and miss on whether or not they're gonna actually generate a link. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and do get a CSV. Now, get the CSV for Link Whisper. You need to make sure you have your Google folder set up. And so if you need um, instructions on how to get that folder ID, make sure you have the folder ID set up in the important basics tab. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna generate a CRV and it's gonna save it to that Google Drive folder. Within that Google Drive folder, go ahead and save it to your desktop. We're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna pause, come back to Link Whisper. So here we are in our WordPress website. I'm in Link Whisper right now. You can see right here on the side. And I went down to auto linking. So with auto linking, what you can do is in bulk action, you'll do bulk create auto link rules, do bulk action. And then we're gonna import that CSV file that we already generated. So mine would be down here. It'll start with the keywords. And then whenever we do that, it's gonna to go to import auto link rules. It's gonna take a second for that to generate, but it's gonna give us all of these options to make sure that we do actually want these. You can create it or not. You can screen it on this end, but then at the bottom, you can do create auto link rules. I have already done this, I've already created it. And you guys can see on my WordPress site, you go to blogboostseo.com to see an example of how the interlinking looks. But go ahead and check out that site. I'll put that in the description below. I also did this with GPT-4. I'll put that in the description below so you can see how both of those look and compare them, see if this might be a good fit for you. But I hope you guys found this helpful. Please subscribe to this channel. If you did, leave a comment below and let me know if there's anything else that you might find helpful.